So that's all our mashes for this week, run through the stills, so it's time to do our filling. So we've got all our casts in for both sides. One side we were doing Kilhoman malt this week and the other side is our commercial malt from the maltings. Uh, as you can see, some have just got the stencil on the wood and some are painted white. We've got a colour scheme for different casks. If you see one straight on the wood, it's a fresh. Uh, if it's white, it's fresh 100%. Blue's a first refill and white with a blue ring is 100% first refill. So I'm going to start stencing the cast here. Right, so when we're filling a cask, we put a barcode on with the number of the cask. So we just have to scan on the computer and it gives us the location of the cask in the warehouse. Then put the comb and study the stencil on it. So, the year. And the number of the cask. And I think that's the neatest one I've done this year, so <laughs> I'm glad it was on camera. That's it, ready to fill. Here I am in the filling store, just going to finish the filling that the night shift boys started last night. They reduced the tank for me from 70.1% to 63.5%, which is what we fill our casts at. Uh, we mostly fill bourbon and sherry casks. Uh, our bourbon barrels come from Buffalo Trace Distillery in Kentucky, America, and our sherry casks come from Miguel Martin in Spain. I'm going to fill this cask here. It's a fresh barrel. We usually only fill a cask twice at most. Take the start weight. 57.5 kilos So before we fill a cask we nose it just to check it's all good mm. Lovely bourbon smell in there we'll Start the pump Fill it. So that's the cast filled. Just put the bung in, record the weight. It's 236.5 kilograms. We fill about 80 bourbon barrels a week mostly bourbon. Uh, we also do some experimental casks but Anthony will go into that a bit later in the warehousing and maturation videos so that's me.